Welcome to the next Blazor tutorial on routing. So in this video, we will see routing using page directives, application razor file, and click to navigate. So to allow the user to navigate to different pages, we need to configure routing rules in our application. The routing rules will help to define which component will be displayed on the UI according to the URL which the user is located. The routing rules are configured using the at page directive. It works in a quite similar way to the root attribute in ASP.NET Core application. It should be also noted that a route has to start with a slash, else it, it will get an error. We can also have several page directives in one component. So we can add a slash index or any names. Now let's run our application. Let's type a URL which doesn't exist. So as you can see here, we have this message. Sorry, there is nothing at this address. So it comes from the app.razor file. As you can see, we have the router component that handle the routing logic. And the found one is when the routing is found. It is where the layout to use will be controlled. Then we have the not found, which is output in our case when the page directive is not found. Finally, let's see the navigate when the user will click a button. We will create a new component, which we will name it to test. Now let's create a button. So button close btn btn dash primary. Navigate to test. On click we will have navigate. And then we will have our method navigate. So we will need to inject the navigation manager, navigation manager. So using the navigation manager, when we click on a button, we can go to a specific page. And, and in our method, we will call it navigation manager that navigate to our component. So to test. Let's run it guys. So as you can see, we have our button, navigate to test. However, on click on it, we are getting this message. Sorry, there is nothing at this address. It is because we have not configured the page directive for, for the test component. We will configure the page directive. Let's open the test.razor. And here we will add 
our PG directive slash test. We will rerun it. So here it is. So now let's let's add some styling to the not found component in the update razor page. So style equal to background color black and color red. So as you can see, we can add our styling. And also we can change the text. Let's change the text to page not found. So here it is. Thanks for watching guys. If this video has helped you, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to check the Blazor playlist where we will have other videos on Blazor tutorials. Thank you.